What's up, Smash Persons? Hey, I got the world's first inline two four x four piston flathead. Now, uh, I'm explaining in the beginning of the video since it's a pretty simple setup. But basically, first things first, I got the head here. So, as you can see, you got some bricks in there to take up some space so that the vacuum has less, you know, air to put under negative pressure. It actually runs faster with these, you know, baffles in there. I got the little, these little electrodes in there for like the spark plug, just for cosmetic purposes. For the same, uh, same thing for the uh, head, you know, bolts in there. So, pretty simple. You just put that on there. Simple, you know, just easy to put on and off because I have like, you know, just a couple, you know, plates here and there. Scarce, you know, holding this thing on. So, it's easy to take it on and off. So, you got two intake valves side by side. They share the same port. You got two exhaust uh, valves and having its own port. Um, so, some set up there. The two coolest parts in here, I think, is uh, I got the lifters in there. As you can see, it's like realistic, so you got like, the saw lifters type of ordeal going on there. So, if I can move it, that, so you can see, moves the valves. So, yeah, um, so you got that. So, put the cover back on there. And then, I got the uh, most complicated valve spring system in the world so as you can see here you've got a little complicated system got going on over here i had less than three bricks tall space to actually work with inside here which was not a lot to say the least and um basically what i do as you can see you got lift arms you know going from side to side um why i have that there is because two valves go at the same exact time so you know, as one two goes up, then two have like are like stationary. Now the problem with that is, is that if everything's all connected, like you know, there's like no variation. You know, every single valve is connected to its, you know, just one single rubber band going across there. What happens is that the two, as the two goes up, the two other one um, relieve the uh, valve spring pressure, and uh, it's all just floating and loose in there as the two goes up, since the rubber band you know lifts up. So basically what I've done is that the two goes up, I have pointed like that, and then vice versa, you know, other other side. Now if you look over a band, I like an oval, flat out, you got two sides, two longer sides. So as I have that thing stretched out, I got two sides on there. And two that goes up at the same time, I have pointing in the same direction. So when the two goes up, it only affects one side of the rubber band and not the other side. Which means that the other side, that the two are stationary, still have valve spring pressure on there. So it's pretty complicated. I literally had to use a screwdriver to actually work with that in there. I literally had to spend like a whole hour trying to put that valve spring in there. And that's not fun. I literally almost smashed this thing to pieces. I'm not going to lie. But uh, basically, after that, put the little cover on there. So just being held on with like two studs so pretty simple take on and off like i said again a lot of stuff on here simple take on and off except that intake exhaust made a fold no man um so that's thing i want to cooperate though what the heck there we go all right so the intake man fold is pretty simple it's just straight through four sets wide um, I want to do two sets wide to make this thing a bog motor, just a slow, you know, slow, cool, flathead, inline two. But it actually didn't run with the two sets wide, so I had to make it four sets wide, which makes it go fast, which somewhat's cool. Um, I have the exhaust man fold on here and the collector, like so. Now, what I'm thinking is that it actually goes faster with the exhaust man fold. What I'm thinking is that this head leaks a lot. I'm not going to lie, this, you know, whole port design kind of leaks a lot. So the vacuum actually goes in here in a measurable amount. Um, it's actually noticeable when you put your thumb over it. So one thing is that the vacuum, whenever it collects in the uh, bottom, it creates a bigger vacuum, which um, goes to two ports. And what I'm thinking is that it helps pull down each exhaust uh, port and uh, makes it seal better, makes it go faster. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, I'm not sure what you guys think. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about it. It's uh, pretty simple. You got pins being pushed on there, except that I can't even do anything about it. 
All right, there. Finally. So, got that in there. Um, now we're ready to run it. 